Hey up, Johnny here, and on this Mantic Monday, we are going to be learning how to build some of the vehicles for Firefight. Okay, today, folks, we are building the GCPS Hornet. This can also be the main base to build your Plague Hornet by adding the extra Plague items, or indeed the new Marauder. Uh, okay, so first off, we're going to build the transportation uh, hold. These two bits go together like so. Again, as you're sure you've heard me on all of these videos, always worth dry fitting everything first, just so you can see if there's any snags, any bits of flash that you may have missed. There you go, so they go together like that. And then this piece here is like a ammo box or something that sits on the inside but what it actually does is holds the flying base when you are using a cargo hold in place. You see that then sits in there like that which gives you a, a longer recess to put your, your uh, flying base in. And then these two end sections go on like so. You want to make sure you're putting these in at the same time so that they can still open and close without glue. So what I would do is I'd glue one in to start with. Press that in place. And take your doors, you'll see the little slots there, push one in that side, one in that side, and just hold them in place with your hand while you put this end section on, it should just sit nicely in those two lugs and around there. And now you can see the doors still open, so they stay open like so and they stay closed as well. Not too much movement on those. And that's that done. And then the next section is the main section of the aircraft. Again, two pieces go together like that. Send a bit of glue all along the edges and in those pencil plugs. Now at this point, before I clamp those, I'll just see if this goes in here. It'd be worth putting that in before you fully close that up just so there's no snag like so and then clamp that in place and then the same again with these two but what you want to do before you glue these I nearly missed it then, is take your back propeller and see it's different to the two side ones, slightly smaller and slightly thicker. This wants to sit so that these two plugs sit in these two recesses here. And again, you can leave glue from that part, and then it does have to move up and down. It's more prominent with the side wings, which we'll come to in a little bit. You'll be able to pro probably see those move. But it's nice to just be able to have a bit of play. And then we can take the front and back sections, and they just go together like that. 
with this piece over the two of them. Glue those two together like that. And then glue along here. And as I say, that just sits in there. Like that. Make sure that's definitely clamped down nicely. And then the wing sections, we have the propellers sit in there like that. And then this piece, you can see these two holes here line up with the holes on the back there. And they just sit. And there is a left and a right, so you'll, you'll notice when you try and dry fit those, you want them so that it fits nicely along here. And you'll see again that you have the movement of the propeller. If, when you come to glue it in, careful when you go and get glue too close to these sections here. So all I'm going to do is put a piece of glue where both those holes are and nowhere else and that will be enough to hold it in place. Like that and then you should repeat the process on the other side. And then with the hole that is left on the wing, you have these end sections, and these go on there. You just make sure you've got the right one for the right side. You'll notice straight away that that one doesn't fit because it's proud there. So you then you know it's the shorter side of the three dots that goes to the top, like that. And just hold that in place like that. Stick it like that, that will dry nicely. And I will do the same on the other side. There we go. And once these pieces are dry, they can then be fit to the aircraft. So there's two holes that line up there. And what you also want to make sure is that you've got your little air vents that sit on there like that, one on that side. One on that side, and then that just clips in like that, and the same again on the other side. Take a little bit of wiggle room sometimes, or you might find that there's just a bit of flash that you've missed that just needs shaving off or persuading in with a bit of brute force. Then we just have the back wings. Yeah. These slots here slot in to the longer side here. You'll see that there'll be a unique difference between the two and that helps identify which of these wing sections they go on. So this one's got a hole in the middle and this one's got a lug in the middle so I know that these two go together like that. And then this one has a little notch missing at the very end and this has a little lug at the very end. That way you don't get your lefts and rights mixed up and then these just slot into the sides 
along here. Now these go so that the slightly longer section with these sort of grill pattern goes to the top. So I know that oh, that is that side and this one is for this side. Again if you try and do them the wrong way around they probably won't quite line up and then it's a good indication that you've got them the wrong way. Which again why it's always worth dry fitting first thing. So the next section now you can if you are wanting to just use the um, transport holder this this cargo section you can leave these legs off or you can put them on if they don't interfere in any way it's just the landing gear for the Hornet and it's an aesthetic choice really as to whether you want to leave them up uh, leave them off or put them on but basically what you're looking to do you know, these sections, if I get the right one, slot into those holes there, put some glue down, give that a push, and then repeat the process on the other side. satisfying pop when it goes in. You'll see on, if we flip this over, these bits that you've just put on, they are only a half circle lug, so you know that this half circle here fits in over the top like that. Ooh. So that is your landing gear in place. Should you want to leave the landing gear off, these sections are plates that just slot over. If you remember that gap that was there, they just sit in there like that to cover it so there's no hole. Then we have a choice to make about some front weapons. So you've got two options there that are already built and then this one requires a little bit of assembly. You can take this section here, you can see that. So then you see this little lug here and this little lug, you know that they line up and fit in together like that. And then the same again, but on a smaller scale, you've got these three little lugs that take the barrels. like so and then any of these options turn it over again all just sit in the end there I'm just going to glue this one in now what I have just noticed with this piece is it is PVC is this one so you will just need a dab of super glue rather than plastic glue. There we go. Leave those two off one side. And then the pieces that you're left with, bring them all over, tiny fiddly bits, are gun mounts and arms for crew, should you wish to install sort of pintle mounted guns into the cargo bay here these little arms they just sit with the right one on those little pegs there and then you build the gun much like you do for the one with the mule so the, the sort of two halves the trigger and guard end and then the, the barrel end 
and then that also fits onto the other side like so and then you've got a couple of GCPS troops knocking about in your spares box use those with these arms and you can have somebody stood in here shooting out then once you've completed all the build process all that's left is to take your crew compartment and your ship and you'll see these four holes that you've made there line up with these four pegs and they clip in with a bit of force like so that is one complete hornet you can see what I mean about leaving these free to move around which adds a nice bit of uh, dynamics to it there we have it that is the GCPS Hornet built the Plague Hornet kit is the same build but you have plague looking sections that you put in instead of the GCPS ones and you have additional things that you add on extra. Hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you again soon.